What's up everyone, it's Flipper Koala here and welcome to another Division video. It's been a week since Division 2 was released and players are absolutely loving it. One of the rare cosmetic items in this game is the masks and in this video I'm going to pin down 5 easy steps which is all you need to follow to get these masks. So sit back and relax and if you like this video please subscribe and share and I will highly appreciate it. Before I start, I'm going to segregate these masks based on which time of the day they can be obtained, as two of them are not time limited while others can only be obtained during the night time. To check the time of the game day, head to your photo mod and game will display the time of the day. The night masks can only be obtained between 7pm and 5am. Let's get a how to get these masks. Alright, the first mask I'm going to talk about is Crimson Mask. Now this mask can be obtained during any time of the day, so you're not limited with the night. Step 1. Note down these coordinates and either fast travel or run towards there. Once you reach this beautiful building, step 2. Go inside it and move south to this desk. A phone symbol will appear. You have to interact with this phone. Step 3. Run north, right opposite, and go to the other desk and interact with another phone. As soon as you interact with this other phone, step 4. A hunter will spawn. Step 5. Kill him and get the mask. It's that easy. Alright, the next one we have is Demon Mask. This mask is also not time dependent and can be obtained during any time of the day. Now, step 1. Go to the demolition site control building location. It's right here. Step 2. Head to this location and navigate your way through the mall. Step 3. Look for the yellow tarp to climb up to the garden. Step 4. Towards west, there is this building with three targets. Shoot them from top to bottom. If you are in a group, all of you need to do this. Step 5. A hunter will spawn. Kill him and get the mask. Alright, the next mask is Wraith Mask. This can only be done during the night, that means you are time limited and you will only be able to get it between 7pm and 5am. Now, step 1. Head down to this location. Note down its coordinates. Step 2. Look for a small square pool. Step 3. Shoot out the light. Step 4. Look at the memorial wall and salute it 4 to 5 times. Step 5. A hunter will spawn, kill him and get the mask. Alright, the next one is Goal Mask. This can only be done during night as well. Step 1. Head underground from this location. Note down its coordinates. Step 2. Interact with this laptop. A light will turn on showing the location of the sniper post. And that's where you need to head. Step 3. Head down to this overhead sniper post location. Step 4. As the night falls, shoot this bulb as it will start flickering. When it starts flickering, you shoot it and as soon as you shoot it, a hunter will spawn. Step 5. Kill the hunter and get the mask. Alright, the next one we have is Midas Remnant Mask. This can only be done during night as well, like two masks before. Step 1. Fast travel to Potomac Event Center. If you don't know the location, here are the coordinates. Step 2. Run towards this bend. There is a pool there. It's actually a hotel in Washington, D.C. Step 3. Go to this location during the night. The light should turn orange. There will be an orange floodlight right onto the pool. That's where you need to stand. Step 4. Stand in the light and do the jumping jacks. Two hunters will appear. Kill them and get two masks. The next one we have is Cross, Death, Diamond and Phantom Masks. These masks can only be obtained during night as well. Now step 1. Fast travel to Viewpoint Museum. If you don't know the coordinates, here they are. 
Step 2. Head down to this location. You can note down the coordinates for this location as well. Step 3. Head to the pavilion cafe and interact with this liver. Mind you, this mask can only be obtained during night, so you have to wait till the night falls and do all these things. Step 4. Go to this Christmas tree and run around in circles. Four hunters will spawn as soon as you run around the Christmas tree, kill all of them and get the masks. Alright, the next one we have is the Spectre Mask. In order to get the Spectre Mask, all you need to do is to fast travel to this contaminated area. One way you can do that is by fast traveling to the DZ South checkpoint or to this safe house and then just run towards this contaminated area. I'm zooming in so that you can note down the coordinates for it. After you reach this location, all you need to do is start shooting these windows. Start from the left and make your way shooting them towards right. You can either use a sniper rifle or use your pistol to shoot them. You have to make sure the last window you gonna shoot, shoot only the non tarped covered area. It's gonna be 13 shots in total. Shoot the windows and avoid the black part of the window. After you do your last shot, you will see that the hunter is gonna spawn on the right hand side corner. There we go. Now all you need to do is down this hunter and get the key and the mask. So here is a spectrum mask which I've just received from the hunter. This is how it looks like. I've also received an ivory key and now I have 7 ivory keys in total. I can go and check the white house. How many ivory keys remaining are required to open this chest. As you can see that I only need one more ivory key to open this chest. Now there are two more masks which can be obtained from the Washington Monument. I'm not going to make a video about them because um, these hunters are not dropping the ivory keys um, which you really need in order to unlock this specular box which exists in Washington DC so um, you can kill these hunters but once you kill them you will and they don't drop the ivory keys you will not be able to get those keys ever so what we're trying to do is we have a group of uh, agents who are trying to crack this riddle and as soon as we crack it um, we'll upload a video of how to kill them and uh, you can get the masks as well as ivory keys so I'm not making a video on them as yet but in the future I will definitely once again if you like this video hit like and subscribe to my channel it's a new channel and I need your support from you guys I'll be making more videos about um, Division 2 content so um, hopefully you'll like that <laughs> till then um, I'll see you guys next time